Hey guys, Eric with MobileMustHave.com here, and today I'm in the south, and we lost power at our campground due to these incredibly high winds that you can hear. Sorry about the audio. It got me thinking about the fact that I haven't shared with you yet the portable water filtration system that I travel with and what I do when a park loses power, which often means they don't have any water pressure. So today, we're gonna grab some water for our rig out of that lake. Now, the vast majority of the time, I'm camping and traveling with pressurized water systems, meaning a hose hookup and I can turn on the spigot and water comes out. It's a pressurized system. And if all you want to do is use pressurized water systems, the ARX may not necessarily be for you. But if you want more flexibility and you want the ability to do what I'm gonna do today in a pinch, the extra cost of the ARX may be worth looking at. If you're not looking at an ARX, you just want to look at pressurized water filtration, check out the MR3 bundles on our website, which I'll link as well. They're not blue, they're just gonna, they're made by blue, but they're not blue in color. They're just stainless steel, and they come at a lower price point uh, for pressurized only systems though. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the ARX and what separates it from the MR3. Now, as you can see here, if I give you a close up of the ARX, it has a pump in the middle here, and it also has a mount here. This is specific to the bundled plus version for a battery. The, the non-bundle version still gives you the battery. You can buy the battery pack, um, and you can power it with 12 volts, but this gives you the mount for the battery, and it comes in a full kit. That's why we stock the bundle kit. And I'll go into the full unboxing of everything you get in a minute. But starting kind of just with the summary of the system itself, you've got two filter housings here and you've got the pump in the middle for battery operated power. Now before we get into how to use the pump, I wanna show you here a picture of the system working without battery and without the pump enabled. And as you can see there, the water is flowing freely through a pressurized system. So for me, I can travel with this system in my Class A motorhome, know that I have that pump option available to me if needed, but that pump can remain off and the system will still pass through water, meaning I can use it on a pressurized water source. So it's incredibly flexible. Before we get into the specifics on the device, I also just wanna kinda of talk about the size of the unit. Most systems that include a pump like this from competitors are north of 30 pounds. And this unit is around 12 to 13 pounds. It's ultra portable, ultra small, ultra light, and still functions with the high flow, high capacity five inch filters that Blue is known for that typically give us three to four months of use between filter transitions. Now, if I'm gonna be pumping water out of a lake, that number obviously could change dramatically, but I have options and that's what I love about the Blue ARX system. Moving on to what's in the box, well, you get the ARX filter system, that's great. You get a small battery charger, you get a battery housing and a battery that connects up to the system to allow the system to run portably. If you wanna connect it directly up to your vehicle, you get a long extension cord here that will go right into your accessory cigarette lighter in the vehicle so that you can plug that right in and not worry about batteries. You get your two filters pre-installed in the system and you get your five inch hose here that's designed to go into open water. This is your in, uh, your inlet filter that comes with that stainless steel screens, both in the fine screen and the more open screen. It also includes a ball here to make sure that the um, inlet hose does not go to the bottom and suck in a lot of dirt. It's all integrated into the inlet hose. You get a 25 foot outlet hose, which is great to get you up out of where your water source is and into wherever you need to go. And you get the portable carrying case, as well as a quick start guide to kind of round out the full kit. And what I love about that small charger that you see here, I'll give you a close up on, is that it has both the 12 volt cigarette lighter plug on it and the 120 volt AC power plug on it. So it's highly flexible. The ARX system, like all blue water systems, has the Quick Connect system that is patented by Blue Technology. These Quick Connects are second to none. You can check out all the reviews on our website. People talk about just how amazing the quality is. And there's plenty of stuff on Amazon that looks like this. I've bought it, it's not the same, not even close to the same. You're welcome to try to pick one up and compare them. 
they're not even close. The patented technology that Blue has put together in these Quick Connects are awesome. I've never had one yet to date fail on me and I've been testing them for over two years. The Quick Connect system allows you to quickly get in and out on the water system without having to worry too much and they include adapters so that you can hook it up to a standard garden hose if you need an extension or something else. So, or you can hook it up to another hose, meaning you can make a 25 into a 50, 75, etc., and only pull out the amount of hose that you need when you're doing your setup. It's a really cool system and it's all stainless steel, which we love. The ARX system and the ARX Plus bundle that you see here specifically is a four-stage water filtration system. And you might be asking yourself, if you just look kind of at this case, how it can be four-stage if you only see two filters here. Well, to answer that question, your first water filtration stage is actually your uh, filtration system here that's actually designed to go into an open water source. So there is a very fine stainless steel pre-filter that's included in this hose which gives you your first stage filter. Now they've also included a less fine, um, kind of basically almost looks like a screen filter as well as an option that you can use if you're in really tough water situations where it's got quite a bit of sediment. Uh, just be mindful that that's going to then allow more stuff downstream into your sediment filters, so that may impact filter life. But I love that they give you some options in this pre-filter kit. Next, you've got your longevity filter. This is essentially a sediment filter. This is gonna filter out big particles that are in the water that you're filtering, whether it's pressurized or from an open water source. And last, you've got that NSF certified 0.2 micron safety filter off-grid safety filter, off-grid version of the filter here in the last position. And that's only three stages, so what have they done? Well, they've actually modified this filter to also be a carbon block filter that's gonna help with uh, taste. So this is also a taste filter. This is gonna help filter out um, things that would commonly be filtered out with a carbon filter. So chlorine taste, um, you know, sulfur, rotten egg smell, stuff like that would also be included, as well as the 0.2, which is gonna cover you on the safety front from things like bacteria, Girardia, et cetera. 0.2, very, very small, 100 times smaller than what you'll typically see in a big box store, and that's gonna get you quite a bit more filtration so you can use water out of an open source like this. Talking specs on the system, if you are pumping from a non-pressurized water source, you've got about three gallons per minute that this system can output. So it, it moves quite a bit of water and the battery will pump up to 90 gallons of water on a single charge, so quite a bit. And if you need more water than 90 gallons, I mean, moving 90 gallons of water is a lot of water, so I don't know if you really need to ever pump more than that, but you can pick up larger M12 batteries if you want to extend that. They make quite a few of them uh, in those big box stores that will plug into this same adapter. So that is an option as well. But three gallons per minute, and you also have the ability to pump up to six feet of vertical uh, lift. So if my water source is down there and I wanna end up at the truck bed, that six feet is going to also allow me to maintain that three or so gallons per minute pressure and still pump the water uphill. Now for me, when I'm traveling, I typically don't wanna move my RV to go find a water source. I move my pickup truck. And I have a little 50 gallon bladder here this is not something we sell, but you can pick them up on Amazon. I'll put a link in a description of a company that I like. This one I have, they actually don't make anymore. I can't find it. But this has been a great water system for me. And it just so happens to fit and sit in the back of an SUV um, or pickup truck and kind of lay out flat very, very well. So it's very easy for me to pick up water when I need to without breaking camp. I won't bore you guys by letting you wait and watch me pump up my bladder system today. But at three gallons a minute, I'm probably gonna be here for about 12 to 15 minutes or so, pumping that up to get my full 50 gallons of water that I'll then go back to my RV and unload. People ask me how I unload the water once it's there. Do I pick up this giant 400 pound <laughs> bladder of water? No, I don't. I use a simple water hose. And in my RV, I have a water inlet that's at the kind of middle or top of my water, fresh water tank, and I use a hose connect it to the bladder and get the water flowing by simply using gravity and a siphoning system without the need for a pump. Now, if your fresh water system doesn't have a water inlet in it, you can usually look at the manual in your water 
in your RV and look for something that's called a country fill. It's kind of a, a term that was used in the RV industry a while ago. Basically what it will do is it will allow you to use the water pump in your RV to pull in uh, water. It's also the way most RVs winterize themselves that have a water pump. So, because if you think about it, you put the hose to winterize into the antifreeze, but instead of putting it into the antifreeze and sucking the antifreeze into your RV, you're going to be putting it into the bladder and pulling fresh water into your RV. So it's very possible to move from the bladder system back into your RV quite easily. What else is great is everything is labeled on the system for in and out. You see your flow directions right on the pump, but you really don't even need that because of the Quick Connect system all male and female ends only fit in one direction. So you kind of always know that your inlet hose goes on the end it goes on because it's the only one that it fits on. That's pretty much it. There's my water flow. And I'm honestly not in a particularly good spot out there. Um, I'm gonna reposition the hose before I get everything going for my 50 gallons of water. And as you can see there, it's as simple as that. I don't have my outlet hose with me, but the inlet's doing its job and I'm getting a nice steady flow with, quite honestly, a pretty terrible throw. I'm probably gonna throw that back out and get myself a bit more into open water. But the system does an absolutely great job of getting me water in a pinch and making sure that water is safe to drink with that 0.2 micron filtration technology. Now, as always, you know, no filter is going to protect you from everything. If you're going to drink this water, um, you know, you can. You've seen Andy on our channel do it. Um, I typically would boil the water first just as an added level of safety, but it's really up to you. 0.2 micron is going to filter out most of the common things you'll see in the U.S. that are going to hurt your water. Thank you guys so much for watching my overview of the ARX Plus bundle that I absolutely love during my travels. The fact that I can use it when I'm in a pressurized water source and I can also use it when I need it in an off-grid application just makes it the perfect system for me while being super, super small and portable at the 13 pounds. It's pretty windy out here, guys. I'm gonna wrap it up. As always, you can reach out to us at info at mobilemusthave.com. You can start up a chat on mobilemusthave.com or you can give us a call on our phone number in the top left hand corner. Don't ever say I don't get out here <laughs> and weather, brave the weather to tell you guys about new and cool products here at mobilemusthave.com. Thank you guys so much, we'll see you on the road.